Where is the love you said you give to me? As soon as you were free, where would ever it be? Where is the love? You told me that you didn't love him. And you were gonna say, Goodbye, but if you really didn't mean it, why did you have to lie? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Who's the door, baby? Um, you know, I want to take a moment here to go in, uh, with this Kimura and Aoki and Russell Simmons bit, because that's what I'm calling it at this point. And one of the main reasons that I, um, couldn't get with some of the people that I was meeting in show business, and trust me, I've met a lot. A lot of y'all see him on my Facebook page. You see me as a kid. Um, and you also see my struggles. Um, but one of the main reasons that I had to reflect on, do I want to be in show business or do I just like to sing? And one of the main reasons for that was when you're chasing a dream and when you're chasing a goal and when you realize how narcissistic that whole environment is. That whole world is. People say you weak when you can't stand up to it. But I think you strong when you don't. To me. I, I, I think you have strength in different ways. It, to me, it's like what would it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? That's what it feel like. So when you think about Aoki and all of them and everybody talking about they shouldn't have um, aired their family business and whatever, how do you get a narcissist up off of you? Now, they, they're they already experiencing his uh, disrespect, his abandonment, his basically um, uh, just neglect of them as a family. I've been here. And what do you do when you call somebody and this is your other parent and when you say hello, the first thing they start doing is talking about your mother. There's another comedian that does this uh, pretty regularly. And I ain't even going to mention his name. Okay? But y'all know who it is. Those of y'all who listen to him. It is the most... If it's one thing that I cannot stand about this comedian, even though I love him and he relatively funny because it remind me of my cousin and this is what same thing i would tell my cousin why are you disrespecting that child's mother i don't give a damn if you didn't get along with her i don't give a damn what you think about you had her with her you meant that's who you picked okay and had you been speak had had equal access you couldn't say that your daughter was brainwashed by her mother this is the same thing that, the same lame excuse that Russell Simmons is saying, saying, why should fathers have to fight and why is it? Listen, we sick of the same old song and dance.